In this morning's Business Insight, the Business Courier loves it when members of its 40 under 40 classes keep moving forward and doing fabulous things. This morning, a member of the class of 2012 is with us to talk about his new book, Avoiding the Networking Disconnect. Brennan Scanlon is the executive director of 44 Business Network International Chapters. He co-authored the book with the founder and chairman of BNI, Dr. Ivan Meisner. Brennan joins Business Courier publisher Jamie Smith in the studio to talk about how to avoid the networking disconnect. Brennan and Jamie. Thanks, Peg. Brennan, thanks for being here today. It's my pleasure, Jamie. Thanks for having me. Now, networking, that's the easiest thing <laughs> in the world, isn't it? Oh, well, in theory. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me about the premise of the book. You bet. So, the title itself, Avoiding the Networking Disconnect, uh, I'll explain it by asking you a question. Uh, most everybody you know who goes to events, a business courier or otherwise, ultimately would like to gain a piece of business or essentially sell something when they go to an event. Is that fair? Oh, absolutely. Great. But when asked the question in return, how many of you actually come to events intentionally looking to buy something or even buy something right away, what do you think the response is? Uh, probably, probably not. Not. Yeah. So, in fact, therein lies the networking disconnect. Everyone's looking to sell, but then again, not everyone's looking to buy. So, we go deep on that uh, topic in terms of networking is really not about selling. It's yeah. about developing relationships, establishing rapport and trust, and taking your time. Really. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be some great stuff in here, but who's it, who's it meant for? Is it meant for the sales guy? Is it meant for anyone that's that's looking to develop a relationship? You know, it's it's a great read for obviously commissioned incentive salespeople. It's also a great read for business owners, entrepreneurs. Ultimately, it's it's for people who either a uh, don't like to network because it's uncomfortable, or people who love it but would like to get better results from it. Okay. Now, what made you decide to write this? Obviously, uh, you're a busy guy. Yeah, so that's 18 years of my life in, in, oh, wow. in, in a book. Um, here's why I decided. I've seen it done really well, and I've seen it done really poorly. And the most important thing to me is that people don't give up. Um, networking is, a, is kind of a science and an art in combination. The reason I wrote it is because uh, it can, when you do it and you do it right, it can, it can really revolutionary, uh, excuse me, really grow your business. And if you're doing it properly, uh, these are the steps. So now you, you wrote it with Dr. Meisner. Tell me a little bit about that relationship. Yeah, so Dr. Meisner created BNI uh, 30 years ago. This is the 30 year anniversary. Um, he is called by CNN the father of modern networking. Um, and the truth be told, he was actually a, a, an entrepreneur himself and created his own networking organization. Uh, for the last 18 years, I've been a part of that. And it's really an honor to be on this book with him because uh, he's kind of been my mentor. And I approached him two years ago and said, hey, uh, I got this idea for a book. Would you be game and uh, lo and behold he said yes. Now is it the kind of book that I'm going to walk away from with like a couple key nuggets and I'm like okay if I do this my my networking skills are going to be that much better? Yeah so the first one and I'll, I'll give you a, a little bit of a teaser on that the absolute first step in networking you might say is take a guess. Uh, here's my business card. <laughs> here's my business card, and that's what most people do. But in fact, that's the second or the third step. And I'll give you a hint. The first step is not to leave your house. It's not to leave your office. It's to absolutely focus in, think about who am I, why am I in business, what makes me passionate, and then even craft the language to say, what's my value proposition? Why would someone listen to me? In other words, am I even referable? And a lot of networkers just go out and randomly pass cards, whereas this one says, focus in. Don't leave the house yet. You really need to focus on yourself yeah. first. Now, how about after the networking event? How important is it to carry it forward after that? Yeah, the phrase fortunes in the follow-up is, is true. And the reality is that most people uh, over-promise and under-deliver and, and never follow up. So there's a lot of stuff in there. I'll give you one, for instance, 24-7, uh, 365. You know, you should have a, a method to make sure that week to week, month to month, and year to year, that you continue to bring those people into your fold and ultimately get the benefits. So networking, yeah, it starts, but it doesn't finish at that one event. It goes on for years. Well, good. Well, listen, congratulations to you for being an author. Uh, yes. Congratulations again for being a 40 under 40. We love, as they said in the lead-in, seeing our 40 under 40 <laughs> uh, uh, members succeed. So congratulations to you, and I'm sure great things are going to come out of this book. Thanks so much, Jamie. I All appreciate right. it. Thanks for being here.